Hi, CUMC kids and family. It's good to be here with you today on video. I miss you all, I miss seeing your faces. Today we're gonna to talk about loving the Lord your God with all of your heart. So we're gonna figure out how we can do that, putting God first. I have a heart here that I printed out and inside it I wrote all of the things I love. So think about if I were to give you a heart like this, what would you write inside? Well, I wrote, I love kids, traveling, my family, the mountains, my dog, teaching, chocolate, Africa, elephants, Indian food. Those are my favorite things that I love, but there's one thing missing that I think I better write on here that I really should have written in the center. I left that open because I wanted to make sure I had enough room for that. But if you were to write something inside your heart, I hope that you would write God first. So I'm gonna write that now. G-O-D. God in the center and God first and God nice and big. So think about that. You might even try that at home to make a big heart and write all the things you love inside of it. Well, I brought my friend Theo with me today. So let's say hello to Theo. Hey, boys and girls, it's Theo. Theo, oh my goodness, Theo, what are you doing? Why are you so excited, Theo? What are you doing? Theo, you're all dressed up too. Where are you going, Theo? Well, um, mm, it's nothing major. Theo, you look nervous. It, uh, yeah, I'm just nervous. Well, what's there to be nervous about, Theo? Well, oh man, well, there's someone special that I really like. Hmm, okay. And I'm trying to get up the nerve to love this person with my whole heart. Okay, I see. Well, what does it mean, Theo, to love them with your whole heart? Well, as I see it, I've got all the bases covered. Okay, what do you mean? Well, I brought a Valentine heart, a card that tells the person I love them. Okay, that's nice, Theo. I brought a stuffed animal. I'm gonna give them the stuffed animal. That's nice too, Theo. And I brought chocolate. Wow, Theo, you seem to be really prepared. And I'm taking this person to a fancy restaurant, Mama Angela's. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have, but Theo, that's gonna be really expensive. Yes, but this person is special. Well, do you mind if I ask who this special person is? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't tell you that. Why, Theo? Oh, I would just be embarrassed. You would tell everyone. No, Theo, I wouldn't tell anyone, I promise. Oh man, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I'm just too nervous. I don't want you to blow it. Okay, do you think I know this person? Do we know this person? Yeah, I think so. Do you promise not to blub? Theo, I promise, pinky swear. I can't pinky swear. Okay, fist bump. All right, deal. So who is it? Well, it's... Jesus. I read in the Bible that Jesus wants me to love him with my whole heart. I thought of all the things people do to show they love each other, and I got them all here. You saw them, the chocolate, the stuffed animal, the heart card. <gasps> do you think he'll mind that I don't bring him flowers? Theo, with all those other things and taking him out for a special meal? No, Theo, that is not what I'm saying. When Jesus said he wants us to love him with our whole heart, 
He wasn't talking about giving people chocolate and flowers and cards. He wasn't? No, Theo. Then what am I supposed to do? To love Jesus with all of your heart means to make him our top priority. It means to put him first. Often we make the mistake of giving gifts when he really wants our time. Oh man, I never thought about that. Are you saying it would be better for me to spend time with him than money? Yes, Theo. Time is one way. Listening, being obedient, and worshiping is also a good way to show Jesus that you love him with all of your heart. Wow, those are things I could do every day if I really loved him, not just once in a while. Now you're getting it, Theo. I'm really glad we've had this chat. I was going about this all wrong. I'm going to consider how I can make Jesus my number one priority every single day so I can love him with my whole heart, just like he wants. That's a great idea, Theo. Thanks for the good reminder. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, boys and girls. So Theo reminded us that we need to put God and Jesus first, don't we? So there's a verse in the Bible that says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Do you think we can help do that together? We're going to practice some motions that might help us learn that verse. So let's go like this for love. Love the Lord, make an L, and start at your shoulder and crisscross. Love the Lord with all of your heart. You can make a heart in front of you. All of your soul and all of your mind. Let's try that again together. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. Very good. So there might be some things that you really like to do. When you fill out a heart, if you do that, you might write in there that you love video games or you're riding your bike or doing Legos or any of your toys. You might love to do all those things and that's okay. Just like I love traveling and chocolate, that's okay. But the most important thing is that you put God first and that you love God first. He needs to come first in our lives. So let's say a prayer and we'll say goodbye. Dear God, thank you so much for all the lessons you have to teach us through the Bible. Please help us to love you with all of our heart and soul and mind and to put you first before anything else that we love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks, boys and girls. Have a great week. Bye-bye.